Welcome to another tutorial by Finchute. If you haven't already visited our website, be sure to check out www.finchute.com for a lot of tutorials here. We've got FX, commodities, equities, investment banking, economics, charting and more. So if you haven't been there, take a visit. This tutorial we're going to look at the discounted cash flow analysis. So we're going to be looking at the DCF function in Bloomberg as well as the DCF um, Excel template that Bloomberg provide. So that'll give you a bit of an understanding on of the valuation and what goes into it. So let's get started. Today we're going to look at IBM as a company. So to get to the discounted cash flow analysis of IBM, we want to be able to go IBM UN equity DCF and that will bring up the discounted cash flow. So Bloomberg provide the forecast period here, which you can see is only up to five years. Uh, we also have the implied equity value, valuation multiples here, and sensitivity matrix as well. We do end up with our implied price down the bottom here, highlighted in purple, and it'll also give us our last traded price and spread to market here. Now, this is a very basic function of uh, DC DCF. You can change these assumptions as well by coming up here or clicking on one, change assumptions. When you're in this area here, you can override some of this information. If you've gone and done your own weighted average cost of capital calculation and you'd like to have that changed, you can simply click in here and change that to say 7.5% and that will change the implied price to $332.50. You can also change the exit growth rate, etc. Now if we go back by pressing menu, uh, we don't want to apply that, we'd like to reset that, it will bring it back to what it originally was. Now this again is a very basic function within Bloomberg and I do imagine that Bloomberg over the years will apply a lot more to this, but if you want to get to a more advanced um, DCF analysis, you'd like to go to XLTP. Go. So XLTP is your Excel templates. So it automatically plugs the information into Excel and will create a dynamic um, DCF for you. So in search templates here, I'm just going to type in DCF, followed by go and it'll bring these up. Now we don't want to look at the Brazilian non-financial company valuation, we just want to go across to discounted cash flow analysis. So from here we want to open up this and once this loads up in Excel you'll notice that it'll always default to the Walt Disney Company. So you can put any ticker you like up here in this box and it will change the entire model to suit whatever ticker or company that is. So in our instance we want to go IBM UN enter. So a good place to look straight away is going to be this description field that it pulls from Bloomberg so you can tell if you're on the right company straight away. Underneath it breaks it up so you don't have multiple sheets you've just got the one and it'll stream down the sheet so you have your perpetual growth method here with all your details which tells us that the theoretical value per share is at $187.44 you've got your assumptions that you can make here in override you have your EBITDA multiple growth method there as well and you can see that under that method the theoretical price per share differs as well and we'll come to them. So if you scroll down you'll see that these are the assumptions made and differing this from the DCF function in Bloomberg itself you can see there's a much larger discounted period applied. Here we come down to looking at the historical cash flows and we also come across to our projected cash flows. So you could double click on any of these to find out where the information comes from within the spreadsheet itself. Um, if you um, are unfamiliar with any of it, there is a help down the bottom that you can click on and this will show you more about the inputs that go into the spreadsheet itself. So I'm going to go back to the spreadsheet now and let's have a look. 
So as you can see down now we have a sensitivity analysis which is the perpetual growth method and it's giving us the discounted cash flow plus the present value of free cash flows equal to the present value of enterprise value minus net debt equals the present value of equity giving us theoretical value per shares. So we have that as well down here for your multiple method um, EBITDA multiple method as well and once again these are just summarized into here and here for the two different methods. But you come down to your weighted average cost of capital as well so you can override a lot of this information it does provide you with the comparables that we're using down here at the bottom and you can also put your custom comparables in there as well if you wanted to. So you can change around the weighted average cost of capital you can change around the comparables and here we're given the historical weighted average cost of capital and capital structure analysis. So for those of you that aren't familiar with the DCF valuation method, I suggest you go through this, play with it, have a look at how it's calculated and try to change some of the assumptions to come up with your own uh, valuation of the um, stock. This has been another video from Finchute. If you like these, please visit us at Finchute dot com, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and subscribe at YouTube.